How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now today we're gonna take a look at the new MP600 PC Express 4.0 NVMe SSD from Corsair, which is, I can already tell you guys, one of the fastest NVMe SSDs on the market because of that PCI Express 4.0. So we're gonna see how the new MP600 performs right after this. To all my South African viewers, you can stand a chance to win some awesome products from ASUS when purchasing any of their X570 motherboards. You can win items like a new 144Hz gaming monitor, an ROG Centurion, a Spatha mouse or even one of their new all-in-one coolers. All you need to do is send your proof of purchase to the mail linked below with the competition ending on the 20th of August. So now is the time to upgrade to X570 with ASUS. Now currently only the X570 platform paired with a third generation Ryzen CPU actually supports PCI Express 4.0 so unfortunately for Intel users or anybody, pretty much anybody else who uses AMD uh, you're not going to be able to get that full PCI Express 4.0 speeds out of the SSD but even on PCI Express 3.0 it's still really quick which we will see. Now the MP600 only comes out in a 1 and a 2 terabyte model. There is no 500 or even below of that. Now even though that does make it a bit more pricey compared to some of the other competitors SSDs at the exact same capacities, the MP600 isn't really that expensive at all, actually pretty well priced. Now specs wise, the MP600 utilizes Toshiba's 3D TLC NAND flash with a Fison E16 controller. It does come with a 5 year warranty and a 3600 terabyte written life cycle. Now getting into how the MP600 performs, the one I have here is the 1 terabyte model and I'm going to compare it to pretty much all of the other SSDs that I've reviewed so far. Now keep in mind that I have not reviewed every single SSD out there and I don't have all of the different sizes, uh, so please just keep that in mind. Also I am going to compare the MP600 on a PCI Express 4.0 and 3.0 to show the differences between the new generation and the old generation. So just for the systems that I'm going to use for that comparisons, I am going to use on PCI Express 4.0 the Ryzen 6 3600X on an Aorus X570 Pro board and then on the other side for PCI Express 3.0 I'm using an Intel 8700K overclocked to 5 gigahertz on an MSI X390 Ace motherboard. So first up is sequential reads and writes in Crystal Disk Benchmark where the MP600 has a crazy 4971 megabytes reads and 4252 megabytes writes compared to pretty much all of the other SSDs being below 3500 megabytes per second. Here we can also see the differences between a PCI Express 3.0 and a 4.0 with reads being around 1500 megabytes per second and writes at 1000 megabytes per second in difference. So we can kind of see here that a PCI Express 3.0 is maxing out at 3500 megabytes per second. But now moving on to some of the other tests that a massive gap did steadily start to shrink a small bit. It was still ahead for pretty much all of the tests except for one. So the test where the PCI Express 4.0 lost was in the 4 kilobytes 64 thread test where the CPU started to do a lot more work and the 3600X couldn't keep up with the faster clock speeds of the 8700K. However, the MP600 was still faster than all of the other SSDs of both in PCI Express 3.0 and 4.0 was just in the CPU performance where the 3600 did start to lose a bit again being a bit slower than the 8700K so I would like to test it on something a bit faster maybe like on the 3900X see how it performs 
there because I think that'll round it out a bit more and truly see the performance of the new PCI Express 4.0. Now I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be that much faster if it can go higher than what the PCI Express 3.0 did. Uh, so I'm just a bit curious there. Unfortunately, I don't have that type of hardware with me. But now moving on to a copy and a paste test. I copied and pasted a 38 gig Steam backup that I made. So for the Steam backup file, when making a direct copy to the same SSD, the MP600 did it in only 27 seconds on a PCI Express 4.0 and around two seconds slower on PCI Express 3.0 but that is still a lot lot quicker than all of the other SSDs that I've benchmarked so far. The MP600 did also have a much much better consistent speeds throughout the copy test at 1.3 gigabytes per second. All of the others I've tested so far runs at full speed for a couple of seconds and then slows down to around three quarters or even half of its original speed. Now as for temperatures, because of the new PCI Express 4.0 having a double the available bandwidth of PCI Express 3.0, temps is going to play an important role here. However, for the MP600 with its beefy aluminum heat spreader, heat wasn't a problem. On idle, it was around the low of 40s and with a heavy workload applied, it never went higher than 53 degrees. But the Corsair states that it does have an operational temperature up to 70 degrees, so still temps is fine. So in conclusion, the MP600 is faster than pretty much any PCI Express 3.0 SSD and for the price point, it is definitely a better buy, even when looking at other SSDs at the exact same capacities. Some are a bit cheaper, but then they lose performance a lot. Compared to something more at the same price point, this just destroys everything. But now the better question is, should you get the MP600 if you actually don't have a Ryzen 3 or a X570 platform that doesn't have PCI Express 4.0? Should you still get it if you're only running PCI Express 3.0? And the answer is still yes. For every test that I did, even on the PCI Express 4.0 test, it was faster than all of the other SSDs. So just an easy answer right there. Yes, just go for the MP600. It is going to be faster than all of the other SSDs. So there you guys have it for the price. The MP600 at one terabyte is the fastest SSD that I have ever tasted. And it is for certain one of the fastest on the market. I'm saying one of the fastest because I'm not sure there are some other PCI Express SSDs, uh, 4.0 SSDs as well. Uh, and you can even get some PCI Express like full card slot ones. And they are a bit faster, but they're also price point through the roof to to the moon price point so consumer grade this is definitely the better buy to go for i'd like to compare it to some of the other newer pc express 4.0 ssds as well but unfortunately i don't have any of them yet but that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys a big thanks to corsair for sending the mp600 over for a review if you guys want to get it for yourself i will leave links in the video description and if you like this review please like share comment comment like always and i'll check all of you guys next time cheers guys